All right, guys, here's the first uh, ratio question for Transformers. So we're going to do a number of single-phase Transformer ratio questions, and then we'll build up into the three-phase. Uh, often everybody asks, why are you doing the single-phase? Well, the three-phase Transformer is basically made up of three single-phase windings. And the same, uh, you know, the same ratios that you have here with V primary over V secondary is equal to number of turns in the primary over number of turns in the secondary and inversely proportional to the currents, it still holds true for three-phase. And a, th a three-phase transformer is basically made up of three single-phase windings. Um, so it will help later on when we get into the ratios for three-phase. All right, so nice and simple here. We got 120 volts on the primary. So we got 120 volts impressed across the primary. Uh, we don't know the secondary voltage yet, but we can see that uh, the number of turns on the secondary is 200, sorry, on the primary is 240, on the secondary is 60. So I like to draw in arrows here. I got a higher number of turns, lower number of turns. And then in order to find that ratio of your N primary over N secondary, it looks like we got 240 turns on the primary. We got 60 turns on the secondary. So the ratio is... 4 to 1. You can see that 240 divided by 60 gives you 4. So the ratio here is we've got 4 times as many turns as we do have on the secondary. So the ratio is 4 to 1. And you can see here on this ratio here that the voltage on the primary versus the voltage on the secondary is directly proportional to the copper or the amount of turns they have on both the primary and the secondary. So if we have a 4 to 1 ratio on the turns, we have a 4 to 1 ratio on the potential difference that we see on the primary and the secondary. So all we have to do here for our V secondary here would be the 120 volts. And we can see that these guys are going to have the same uh, relationship in that we have a higher voltage on the primary, lower voltage on the secondary because we have less turns on the secondary. So we do 120 volts divided by our ratio of 4 and we find that we have 30 volts AC on the secondary. Yeti. So we got 30 volts here across the secondary. Sorry, I can't draw it today. Nice. So now we got our voltage on the, the secondary. And now what we need to do is find our current on the secondary. So uh, the impedance here is 5 ohms. And at this point, we just have straight ohms law. We have 30 volts being impressed across a load that has an impedance of 5 ohms. 30 divided by the 5 gives us 6 amps on the secondary. So... In here, we've got six amps flowing on that conductor, and we can drop in the fact that we have six amps on the secondary there. Now, the the primary voltage, secondary voltage versus um, primary current, secondary current, they're the inverse of each other. That's because you need to have VA in, so power in is supposed to be equal to power out, right? We have V primary times I primary, equal to V secondary times I secondary. There's minor losses with magnetic fields and sound and heat, but essentially we're just going to say the power in is equal to power out for any of these questions. Beauty. So now we can look at our currents and we can see that in order for the power to be the same, this will be a higher current and this will be a lower current. Okay, by the same factor. So in order to keep the VA the same, then I need to have, it looks like, four times less current on the primary. So here for our primary current, we'll take our six amps that we have on the secondary, divide it by our ratio of four, and we've got one and a half amps on the primary. Okay, last thing we need to do is find our VA, and we've just said that the VA in is equal to the VA out. And VA, single phase, so single phase VA is just voltage times current. Okay, no root 3 or anything like that yet. 
So in each case, if we take 30 volts times 6 amps, we got 180 VA. If we look at the primary, 120 volts times 1.5 amps gives us 180 VA. Oh, that's nice. They both equal. And you can always use those guys as your double check there for all of your values. Okay. Last thing we need to look at is just a summary here. We got 120 volts. It's dropping down to 30 volts. How do we know that it's a step down transformer? Because we have four times less turns on the secondary. The voltage and the current are inverse of each other. So if we drop the voltage, we have more current that's available. That means that on the primary, in order for the VA to be the same, if this is a higher current, this will be a lower current. So that this voltage times this current will equal 180 VA, and this voltage times this current will also equal 180 VA. Excellent. We'll stop there, guys. Switch over to uh, question number two. I think there's two more single phase uh, to go through, and then we'll switch into the three-phase transformer ratios.